What's going on guys and welcome to this short little video here on fantasy football. Yes, this is a really quick video uh, basically explaining what fantasy football is and me telling you about uh, a game I'll be playing with you guys uh, throughout the season in the Premier League uh, just like I did last season but I never did a video on it. So basically uh, last season I did a fantasy football league with you guys. I tweeted it out but I never did a video on it. I never really explained I was going to do it but this year I thought I'm going to try and get as many of you guys involved in possible. I got a future actual series for it on FIFA as well. I'm planning to and I thought this is a really quick video here uh, just to show you guys if you're new to fantasy football how to set up an account and play as well get involved in my league and have some fun uh, so basically uh, to start the episode off I'm just showing you how to create an account now if you're new to fantasy football uh, basically just follow exactly what I'm doing on the screen and you'll be able to set yourself up in no time you only need an email address to play the game it doesn't matter what country you're from it's a worldwide game you just need an email address and you don't have to enter your mobile number if you don't want to you just need yourself an email address and I'm pretty sure that the game is available for all ages as well um, if it is 16 plus or a, cer a certain age plus then I just ask one of your parents to help you set up an account and I'm sure they'll be willing to do it for you uh, basically setting up an account is really easy just click on the link to the website I'll be listing in the description and just go through the pages like I'm doing here as you can see the first page of the my account section is all your basic details like I said you just need an email account that's all you need for the game and then the rest of the pages are effectively just all about email uh, subscribers subscriptions and if you're someone who like me hates to get spam in your email address basically just untick all of the boxes and you won't receive any emails from them whatsoever it's crazy but as you can see there are quite a few tabs there there's one two three four five six tabs uh, one of them is your profile details one is confirming your details and the others are all about emails you'll be getting so basically just untick all the boxes if you don't want to get any spam whatsoever and once you've registered you're, you're able to log into your account and there you go. So that's basically just how to set up an account if you've never played a game before. And there you have it. Uh, as you can see right here, you want to click on Fancy Premier League once you're logged into your account. Don't click on Ultimate Fancy Premier League. That's a pay-to-play game. Uh, the Fancy Premier League game is totally free. That's a pay-to-play one. So just ignore that one and click on Fantasy Premier League. And as you can see, you can get yourself started, started and start selecting your squad. Now, if you've never played the game before, basically what you have are a, a team of 15 players. You get to uh, choose a team of 15 players from all the 20 squads in the Premier League. Most of the players of those 20 20 squads are available in the game. Some of them won't be. Some reserve and youth players won't be. But either way, you can choose 15 players. You have to have two goalkeepers, five defenders, five midfielders, and three strikers. So you can't say, I'll, I'll sacrifice a defender and add another, another forward. You have to play to the rules of the game. You have to have five defenders, five midfielders, three fours, and two goalkeepers as well. Uh, also, you can only select three players from one team at any one game week. So as you can see right here, I tried to select four players. Rooney, Smalling, I think it was Matter and De Gea as well. But the game won't let me. You're only allowed three from one team you get 100 million pounds to work with and all the all the players will have different prices you can uh, you can choose a, choose any of the players you want of course only three per team though and also play into those positions but if you want to get a, a more detailed look at the rules and stuff then there's a help section here it's got the frequently asked questions which basically just explains the game and how it works this season there's a new feature called chips which even I don't understand fully which I'll have to look into and uh, how to choose your squad how to manage the team I'll go through the basic details but there's a sort of a more in-depth advice advanced look at the rules and so on and so forth the terms and conditions as well and basically how to play the game but yeah this season I'm going to run this fantasy premier league I am contemplating doing a series on FIFA as well with I've got a couple of ideas on how I could do that where I'll basically do one episode a week going through the uh, the fixtures of the match week and so on and so forth but I'll have to wait and see if I do that or not not too sure just yet but either way I'm going to uh, going to run prizes this year as well for the top three uh, positions in the league so after 38 games once the fantasy football season's over I'm going to give prizes to the top three uh, finishes in the league I'm sure it won't be me so I don't need to worry about that first place will win a £50 PSN Xbox Live code thing Steam voucher I don't know what they are uh, second place will be £25 and third place will be £10 as well so if you want to get yourself involved it's free to play it's free to join the league as well I'll show you how to join the league in just a moment's time we can have some fun and basically just just see where everyone ends up come the end of the season. It's always fun uh, to see how we're doing and how our fantasy football teams are getting on. It always gives me an added interest as well to the Premier League too, just to see how my players are getting on in my fantasy team. Uh, regardless, you can see right now, I'm just giving you a basic overview of how to select the players, the information you get displayed as well once you click on the I next to their names too. To select a player, you literally just click on the name and they go into your team as well. So this is the first draft of the team I picked. Uh, now, once you've picked your team, you can still change the team 
team. You can change all 11 players right up to the first game week. Um, I think it closes at like 11.15 or 11.30 UK time on match day one in uh, in August time. Uh, you, you can change your team completely right up until that point with no penalties whatsoever. So this is the first draft I made of my team. And before you all start criticizing me and telling me it's a rubbish team, uh, I'll probably change it completely come the, uh, the start of the season anyway. So you've got an option to change it whenever you like uh, before the season starts. And also you then enter a team name once you've picked your 11 players. And this year I went with uh, Spironi's cronies just because Spironi's in my team and hopefully all these guys are his friends. But anyway, uh, once you've done that, you basically just confirm to the terms and conditions, enter your team and you're good to go. Your team is set up and uh, you already have a fantasy team ready to start the season off with as well. So that's my team. And also as well, if you want to make substitutions with your team, I'll show you that in just a moment's time, but to, uh, you can design your kit too if you're really that intrigued and uh, change the colours of it. But if you want to make substitutions, you click on the yellow button to put a player into your team or take a player out of your team and then uh, uh, pick on the yellow button, uh, uh, select the yellow button again of the player you want to take out. So for example, I just put in Wilson for Henderson there. You just press the yellow buttons of the two players and they'll automatically change. Uh, the only rule with formation is that you, can, uh, you can't have two defenders. You have to have at least three defenders in your formation. So you can't play a 2-5-3, for example. You have to have at least three defenders and there you go. And also at the bottom of the page, you can change your captain. Captains score double points. Although this season, as I mentioned, there's uh, something called chips this year where you can uh, actually treble your captain score and I think you can get points for your benches. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look into that in full. I don't want to uh, give information about that and get it wrong, but there you go. Uh, still, here's a look at the leagues. Basically, to join my league, all you've got to go, do is go into leagues, join a league, select the private league option and then enter the code. The code to the league is in the description down below and I'll also show you on the screen right here. It's 591, oh wow, can I read this? 591417-147651. But anyway, the code will be in the description anyway. It's private league, next, then enter that code, click confirm, and you'll be entered into my subscriber league, and we can have a lot of fun and see who places who, uh, who, who, uh, play, uh, who places where come the end of the fantasy football season. But regardless, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if there was anything I missed out or anything you need further clarification from, uh, feel free to tweet me at Doclan. I'll try and respond to you. Um, again, there's a frequently asked questions and a help page on the uh, on the uh, website anyway, which I'll just show you how to get to in this video. So you'll find all the answers there most likely. But if there's, any, if there's anything else I missed out, feel free to tweet me at DocLanders. I'll try and get around to you and try and reply. Otherwise, leave a question in the comments down below and I'm sure someone might be able to help you out. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you get involved, have some fun. Uh, should be a really, really fun thing to do this year. See how you guys fare against me and uh, try and get as many people in as possible. And of course, the top three uh, places come the end of the season and we'll win some prizes as well. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And uh, don't forget to get yourself a fancy team, get yourself in a league, and let's see who's going to come out on top come the end of the season.